Alright, just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to lately. Um, been wanting to raise some queens for a while, and uh, hopefully I can. Um, this is going to be my first go around at it as far as trying to graft queens. I've raised queens in the past as far as just uh, making queenless splits and letting the bees raise their own, but that's really labor intensive on the bees. Uh, it's really time uh, consumptive, so I'd rather not do that anymore if I can help it. So what I put together tonight is just a standard frame for raising queens on it, but I wanted to show you guys what I did. <coughs> um, I haven't seen this done before. I'm sure someone else has done it, but I <coughs> I thought it was uh, a little creative. Uh, so what I did was, these are the JZBZ Queen Cell Cups. These things are extremely cheap. Uh, I got a packet of, I think, 50 of them. And I honestly don't remember the price, but <coughs> basically if it was cheap enough that I bought them... I bought them months ago, not knowing when I would use them. So if it was cheap enough for me to buy it without necessarily needing it, it's probably pretty cheap. Um, but anyway, what this is, this is a medium frame, uh, not a deep. Most people you'll see do a deep, and on their deep, they'll put two middle bars on their deep and then nothing, <coughs> nothing on the bottom. So they'll still get three rows on their deep frame. Um... And I'm not sure how to space these. These are spaced 10 per row, so I've got 30 queen cell cups on here. But they'll have two rows and then nothing on their bottom frame. What I did on this one instead was these factory cut grooves to snap your foundation into are the exact width that you need for these little queen cell cups to fit into. I also discovered, I'm sure they're designed like this, but I thought it was handy, this little tab... See if I can get a clear image of it, but that little tab there is actually oval shaped. It looks like it's round, but you look real close, it's actually oval. And so what that means is that I can put it in this groove, slide it back and forth like it's easy, but if I just rotate it a few degrees, it snugs up. Now it won't move, now it's stuck in it. <coughs> and again, I'm sure that's how they're designed, but I thought that was pretty creative. It's good on Jay Z part to make it that simple. I was trying to figure out how I was going to cut a groove to such tight tolerances or drill a hole or something. Anyway, these factory cut grooves for foundation fit perfectly for that to put it in there and align it. So what I did was, <coughs> this is a piece of scrap cedar out of the garage, and I went ahead and cut the groove. You can see it's not centered. But I just cut the groove by making a pass on my table saw, scooting it over an eighth of an inch, making another pass on my table saw. So I only had to make one of these middle bars. And what I did here was I just took what's supposed to be the bottom bar with its similar groove and I just flipped it upside down. So when this is in the hive, it will of course hang upside down like this. Um, but since this is a medium, when I put it into a deep box, there will be space. See how I can simulate this, I'm not sure. But there will be space between that bottom queen cell cup <coughs> and the bottom of the hive. So if you look at my table here, it would be you know something like this as far as... Uh, that's a that's a terrible image. I need something solid. Here we go. My workbench. See, there will be a space much like that between the bottom of the box and the bottom of the frame. So, I think it'll be enough headroom that they can pull a row of queen cells across the bottom. We'll find out. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show you guys that as far as it being you know, a little bit different design. Uh, I'm not saying it's super creative, um, but I thought it was neat. It took me all of, I don't know, 10 minutes to uh, make the cuts on that piece of scrap wood and to figure out exactly how these little queen cell cups mounted in there and how I was going to make it work. So it doesn't take long at all. Uh, that 10 minutes is a pretty good investment to uh, have the potential to raise this many queens whenever I want. <laughs> I showed this to my wife and her first question was, what are you going to do when you have more queens and you know what to do with? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll kill them. I don't know. I'll uh, see if I can find anybody that wants to have a few. I've got a few friends that I've made in the business that maybe are looking for some queens. But, you know, to me, what I'm wanting to have at this point is enough queens that I can have a couple queen castles and have enough, have a few queens on hand that should I need one, I have one. Um, so my goal at this point, anyway, is not to do queen sales. It's not to do any sort of specialized queen breeding. It's just to have enough queens available at any given time to support my own operation. So, you know, 30 queens, it's far more than I need. I have eight hives right now. Um, but, you know, you come into those situations where having a queen on hand would sure be nice. I, I ran into that uh, uh, two weekends ago when I 
<laughs> taught a beekeeping class, one of the hives that I was looking at clearly needed a new queen. I mean, the bees were fine. I spotted the queen. She was there. Everything looked fine. But she was just laying very, very little brood. And with the spring buildup, uh, she couldn't keep up. And so the bees were basically <coughs> dying off faster than she was replacing them. And so my first thought was, man, I wish I had a queen to put in this hive. But I don't. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's situations like that that you'd like to have a queen. So, anyway, just thought I'd share this with you guys. Um... You know, I could go over the details, but I, I promise you it's it's not complicated. This is, uh, I just measured, you know, inside of this edge to inside of that edge, cut my board to be the right length, made two passes on the uh, table saw to cut that dado, and the way that I fastened it was just um, a little staple right there through the end. So I was going to cut and put, I was going to put blocks, you know, a block here and a block there to support it on, um, but yeah, then I just dawned on me, okay, I can just put a staple straight through the outside and hold it together. So quick, easy, effective. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know. Uh, comment, it's great. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, this will be part one of Raising Queens. And as I go to make the graphs, I'll, uh, hopefully I'll get a video of making graphs as well. And I'll do a good little video bit on the whole process of Raising the Queens. And hopefully for my first go-around, it's a success. See ya.